Hi, good day all of you. Welcome to our session. Welcome to our channel, Intelligible Tutorials. In this today's session, now I want to give the clear information of the UML regarding the common mechanisms. There is a concept is there in the UML that is called as the common mechanisms. So, what are these common mechanisms? How they will work? What is the purpose of these common mechanisms in the UML? Now we are going to see. Let us see these common mechanisms are nothing but the first one is adornments, common divisions, and the third one is extensibility mechanisms. In this adornments, we are having the best example as note. In the common divisions, class divisions and coming to the extension mechanisms, the very first one is stereotypes, two tagged values, three constraints. Okay, so uh, what are the purpose of these common mechanisms? These common mechanisms normally facilitate the um, uh, people who will work this particular UML to add some extra things for uh, easy understanding, to add, add some extra things for easy identification purpose. Okay, so first of all, we will see the adornments. Adornments means what? Adornment, the best example for this is node. Adornments means if you want to add any new add-on thing to that particular model or to that particular diagram, you can go for adornments. Okay, so the best example for this adornment is node that is a dog-eared uh, rectangle. Okay, so this is called as node. Normally, what this can be connected to this particular class, any of the class with the help of some this node connected. This is not any kind of the relation, just it is a node, uh, node connector. It is a node connector. Okay, so what are the things that can be represented in the node? So, the any explanation needed, you can add this to this node or you can use any kind of graphics any kind of diagrams and if you want to add any kind of URLs, links, etc., you can use in the note. So, what is the note? It is an adornment symbol actually. It can have the URLs, it can have some graphics, it can have some diagrams, it can have some explanation with the help of this node. So, for example, in a class it is connected with the help of a node connector. Okay. So, this is nothing but the adornment symbol node. This is nothing but the example of the note, uh, the adornment symbol which is a dog-eared rectangle. Okay. And now we are going to see the other kind of extensibility mechanisms. What are the other kind of the extensibility mechanisms now we see? For well, the first one here it is nothing but the stereotypes. So what is the meaning of the stereotypes? So extensibility mechanisms are normally add some extensions to the existing ones. Okay, they add some extensions to the existing ones. The very first one is nothing but the stereotype. So, what is the stereotype? Stereotype is a meaningful word that is represented in the guliments. These are called as guliments. So, this is the stereotype. Normally, we will use various kinds of the stereotypes for the dependency relationship. We are having include of the some use case 1, this is some use case 2. Use case 1 to use case 2 dependency is there. This use case included by this use case. It also include this one. So, we use these stereotypes that uh, ex enhances the uh, meaning of this particular relation that is include. Okay. So, this is this adds some meaningful the extra meaning to this particular uh, uh, relationship and as well as extends. 
use case 2 extends use case 1 in the gulimates we are representing. For this dependency relationship only we are having two different kinds of the um, uh, stereotypes which add some extra meaning to the existing relationship those are includes and as well as sorry include and as well as extends they can be represented like that include and extend these both can be used with this dependency relationship okay so this is nothing but the stereotypes now we are going to see some tagged values they add some meaning to the building blocks they add some extensions to the building blocks stereotypes what are the building blocks classes use cases are these are some building blocks to the classes to the system so they add some extra meaning to the building blocks like include and as well as the extent. The next one we are going to see is nothing but the tagged values. So what is the meaning of these tagged values? Now we see tagged values. Tagged values means added to attributes. These values added to some set of the attributes normally. For example, this is a node and this node 1 if the name of the node is node 1 and number of the processors for this node is equal to 3 they can be represented in curl braces. So the attribute for this particular node is processors and what is the tagged value for this processors is nothing but 3. So you can add any kind of the value or any value to the attribute in the existing for this using these tagged values. Okay, this is the best example for this tagged value of this uh, particular node. Okay, and now we see what is the meaning of the constraint. Normally constraints as we all of you know, these are the rules and add some extra rules to the existing ones. Extra rules to be followed to the existing ones. These are treated as the constraints. So how these constraints can be represented in the class normally. For example, we are having a profile class profile is linked with class bank so profile with bank is always secure you can represent the uh, constraint like this this is called as the constraint it also represented like this so this is the constraint so how this profile uh, what is the relationship between this uh, profile and the bank association and this association must be a secured association with the constraint you have to represent the constraint for this association like this so using this uh, constraint so what is the meaning of this constraint by studying the, by watching this we can easily say that it is secured association and as well as the relationship between the profile and the bank is profile of the person to the bank is co completely secured okay so next we see one more example what is the next example is nothing but uh, for example in the class i am having some set of the attributes okay this name of the class is uh, some p so here gender is the attribute is there so in this attribute you are having only two values either male or female no other value will not be supported so you can simply write this male or female like this so again this is a constraint so constraint means like that you can add some values you can add some extra rules sorry you can add some rules you can add some extra rules to the existing one that is nothing but the constraints so these are nothing but the common mechanisms that we are going to use in our AML. Once again we see what is the meaning of the common mechanisms. There are normally three different kinds of the common mechanisms, adornments, common divisions, extensibility mechanisms. What is the best example for this adornments is nothing but note the dog eared corner. It may contain either links or diagrams or text or explanation. Whatever you want to give that you can give in the adornments of uh, example is note okay the next one is common divisions class divisions are common divisions division one first division is the class name the next division is set of the data members and third division is nothing but set of operations and the next one is extensibility mechanisms what are the extensibility mechanisms are nothing but uh, stereotypes tagged values and constraints stereotypes means so you can use along with the dependency relationship like include and extend extends 
The next one is tagged values. You can add some values to the attributes within the class in the stereotypes can be represented with these guillemins. Tagged values can be represented with this curl braces and constraints can also be represented with curl braces. Okay. So, like this constraints means set of the rules and addition of another some set of the rules. Like this we can represent the set of the common mechanisms in the unified modeling language UML. And uh, coming videos uh, we talk about some more things relevant to the UML. So, I will upload complete uh, syllabus of the UML. So, if at all any doubts, if at all you require any other things, please uh, uh, mention me in the comment section and uh, all comments are allowed. So, please uh, mention whatever you want to say regarding if you want to add another new things, I have to say please uh, tell me in the comment section your views and opinions, okay. So, thank you, thank you one and all. Please subscribe my channel. Thank you.